Language Foundations Vocabulary Flashcards, helping you achieve understanding. A garment worn on the upper half of the body. Put a shirt on. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. An article of clothing. Garments of the finest silk. Clothing in general. She was refined in her choice of apparel. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Cover as if with clothing. The mountain was clothed in tropical trees. Furnish with power or authority. Of kings or emperors. Cultivate, tend, and cut back the growth of. Dress the plants in the garden. Suitable for formal occasions. A full dress uniform. Kill and prepare for market or consumption. Dress a turkey. A one-piece garment for a woman. Has skirt and bodice. Of an occasion, requiring formal clothes. A dress dinner. Put on clothes. We had to dress quickly. Decorate, food, as with parsley or other ornamental foods. Clothing in general. Fastidious about his dress. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Parents must feed and dress their child. Arrange in ranks. Dress troops. Dress or groom with elaborate care. She likes to dress when going to the opera. Provide with decoration. Dress the windows. Give a neat appearance to. Dress the horses. Dress in a certain manner. She dresses in the latest Paris fashion. Arrange attractively. Dress my hair for the wedding. Clothing of a distinctive style or for a particular occasion. Battle dress. Apply a bandage or medication to. Dress the victim's wounds. Convert into leather. Dress the tanned skins. Cut down rough hewn, lumber, to standard thickness and width. Put a dressing on. Dress the salads. Put a finish on. Dress the surface smooth. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Provide with, something, usually for a specific purpose. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Clothing of a distinctive style or for a particular occasion. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Qualify for teaching at a university in Europe. He habilitated after his sabbatical at a prestigious American university. Especially fine or decorative clothing. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Provide with clothes or put clothes on. Heavy-duty shirts worn for manual or physical work. A loose shirt or tunic, originally worn in the Middle Ages. A man's white shirt, with a starch front, for evening wear, usually with a tuxedo. A shirt with short sleeves designed for comfort and casual wear. A close-fitting pullover shirt. A tight-fitting sleeveless shirt with wide shoulder straps and low neck and no front opening. Often worn over a shirt or blouse. A close-fitting pullover shirt. 
an uncomfortable shirt made of coarse animal hair, worn next to the skin as a penance. A close-fitting pullover shirt. A mid-Atlantic state on the Atlantic, one of the original 13 colonies. The largest of the Channel Islands. A breed of diary cattle developed on the island of Jersey. A slightly elastic machine knit fabric. A loose collarless shirt worn by many people on the Indian subcontinent, usually with a salwar or churidars or pajama. A shirt with short sleeves designed for comfort and casual wear. A loose and brightly colored African shirt. A man's white shirt, with a starch front, for evening wear, usually with a tuxedo. A loose and brightly colored African shirt. The sleeve of a shirt. A man's detachable insert, usually starched, to simulate the front of a shirt. A small third seat in the back of an old-fashioned two-seater. British informal, faulty. A man's detachable insert, usually starched, to simulate the front of a shirt. A small third seat in the back of an old-fashioned two-seater. A man's detachable insert, usually starched, to simulate the front of a shirt. A small third seat in the back of an old-fashioned two-seater. British informal, faulty. I've got this dicky heart. A button on a shirt. A man's detachable insert, usually starched, to simulate the front of a shirt. The front of a shirt, usually the part not covered by a jacket. He had spilled catsup on his shirt front. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.